Rousey was uh, more than likely born in a puppy mill. He was in a pet store in Nashville listed as a purebred Jack Russell Terrier, which he is not. He also has some pretty severe um, deformities of his back legs. He has a grade four luxating patella, which is correctable, but in his case, he also has some odd rotations of the bones, which makes it not correctable surgically. We don't know for sure if it was because of the legs or because he ended up not being what they thought he was going to be. But his original owners who purchased him from the pet store decided to send him to a high kill shelter in Tennessee. Somebody found out and decided that they would take him and put him in rescue because a dog with special needs in a high kill shelter isn't going to make it very long. They were working with a group in Grand Rapids, Michigan and decided to send him up there where he might have a better chance of adoption. So there's a group called Pilots and Paws and they put out a request for somebody to fly him up to Michigan. And he immediately went into a foster in Grand Rapids once he arrives here. I was not looking for a dog for me. I was actually looking for a dog for my sister. So I saw Ralphie and he kind of jumped out at me. So I recommended him for her. She ended up going with a senior dog that had been in a shelter in Florida for four years. So when I knew she wasn't going to get him, I decided that I needed to get him. I put in an application and I was able to meet him and his foster family about a week later and ended up bringing him home. And First night I brought him home, I put him on the bed with me when it got to be time to go to bed and he immediately crawled into the covers and that's where he slept ever since. Definitely adapted very quickly to the setting. He was very active, much more active than what I was used to. Very friendly, very excitable. He walks predominantly with his front legs back, which is just kind of do their thing behind. He can run, he can play. Um, the only thing he really is not able to do is jump. When he walks, he ends up with some chafing because his back legs rub up against his rib cage a little bit. He doesn't let it stop him at all. It actually turned out to be a really cool thing because people ask me about it all the time. And so that gives me the opportunity to talk about puppy mills and pet stores and you don't really know what you're getting from pet stores and you know those puppies are coming from places where their parents are, are treated horribly. So he's really given me a good opportunity to be able to speak up about some things that aren't great about the puppy mill and pet store industry. Ralphie is definitely a mama's boy. Loves to go for walks, he loves to, to go outside. He's just, he's a special little guy. 